I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is John Payton. He is CEO of Dine Brands Global. John, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Judy, thank you. It's so exciting to be here on the floor of the Stock Exchange. Great to have you here in person. So now, John, tell me, what are the big areas of opportunity for Dine Brands, for Applebee's, and for IHOP? Well, we had a we had a strong second quarter, mm -hmm. right? Despite the pressures in the economy with gas prices and the cost of goods and back to school for our customers, you know, traffic was still strong in Q2. So our biggest opportunity for the back half of the year is making sure that we stay super close to our customers and how they're feeling and behaving when it comes to the economic pressures. Um, we're encouraged about the back half of the year because like Judy gas prices are down right. 50 days in a row and when gas prices go down that's helpful for traffic in our in our restaurants so we just got to make sure that we we price well we offer great value and that we understand what our guests are looking for and expect during tough times so now I know you consider dime brands and, and both of the brands to be a place of certainty during <laughs> times of uncertainty what do you mean by that Love that quote, <laughs> um, yeah, and we do. We say that our brands are certainty, meaning that they've always been value-oriented brands um, in, in the two spaces in which they compete, and that our guests know that when you come to IHOP or Applebee's, you get really generous portions of delicious food in a really fun, warm, welcoming environment at a great price. That's our definition of value, and even at a time like this when cost pressures are causing us to raise menu prices. We've got to make sure that we balance protecting franchisees' margins with not pricing ourselves out of the, the sweet spot of our, of, our, of our customers. And our brands understand how to do value. So like right now, for example, at IHOP, um, with our Minions menu, it's kids eat free after four o'clock. So that's a great value add at a tough time like this that we know drives traffic. So talk to me more about how you're focusing on the guest during a time when consumer sentiment is declining. We like to say that we play offense and defense, mm -hmm. even during tough times, right? And, and defense is about making sure that our menus are streamlined, right? And that we are leaning into training and things like that. But, but offense is, you know, all throughout COVID and even now during this economic environment, we continue to invest in back of house technology, front of house technology, most importantly, consumer technology, so you can order on your phone. Um, we know when you're five miles out, four miles out, three miles out, we've got the food fired up and ready for you when you arrive. And so uh, everything we're doing around menu innovation, technology innovation, fun marketing things, is all about making sure that um, we're relevant to consumers before, during, and after the meal, whenever and wherever they want to interact with us, in the restaurant, at home, on the road. All right, well, John, you're making me very hungry. So next time you come to visit, you definitely have to bring some of your Applebee's, IHOP, other brands. You know, we, we need I, to have some food here. Uh, I, it, I, we, are, we are really great to go for both businesses, so we will do that. What's your favorite pancake? Oh, gosh, I love a blueberry pancake. Next time? Blueberry pancakes. All right. Next time. You heard that right here. <laughs> John, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Absolutely. Thank you, Judy.